Welcome to the Visionary Women series. My name is Tracy Cook. And today I have a very powerful woman with us. She is going to give us an enlightening conversation. And she's not just a leader in her field, but she is a game changer. She's blazing new trails and creating opportunities for others to follow. And you won't want to miss the valuable insights and wisdom that our upcoming guest has to share. Andrea Moyer, welcome to the Visionary Women's Series. Please tell us what makes you a visionary woman. Oh, thanks for having me, Tracy. So what makes me a visionary woman? Oh, my gosh. Um, I love to see into the unseen world. Uh, So from a very young age, I grew up with elders around me and um, I'm First Nations. And they just taught me by their mere presence and being that everything is so alive and so when I'm talking and connecting with things in the world I feel their spirit I speak to the spirit and it's a really incredible world we actually live in if we slow down and and tune in to the reality the life that is here um that is what I love to do and I love to teach others to do the same. I love that. So you are based uh, whereabouts? I'm just outside of Calgary, Alberta, Ontario, and uh, moved here from Ontario last year. So loving it by the mountains. So you really love the the energy and the spirituality and uh, especially being First Nation, um, you know, this is uh, quite a, a legacy that you're carrying on as well. So what a wonderful space to be in. Tell us more about what brought you to the place of doing what you do now. Is it something that you've always had or something you went and learned or something that you went and discovered? How did it come about for you? Well, it didn't actually come about till I was about 21, where I would see, like, I'd feel spirits around me and I'd get scared. I'd be like, ah, go away. Um, And then I went further. I started doing yoga and I really like dropped into my body and tuned in and could really slow down my mind. But that was just like the start. Uh, From there, I went into uh, my master's in psychotherapy, uh, specializing in the body, the wisdom of the body. So this is what I really love to specialize in is we have our whole body. It's a whole map. Uh, It's an extension of our mind. And we actually remember everything. And sometimes we consciously don't remember, but if we go and feel in our body, that's why our body is always talking to us. Like right now I have a little ache underneath my rib. I'm like, ooh, ooh, what's there? Oh, there's something there that's bringing my attention and I need to speak to that part of myself and settle, settle in. So from learning to work with the unconscious body, I went to do my um, angel guidance um, course and training. I wanted to do it for a long time, but I finally had a moment to take it. And so I dove in and it blew all my players, my my ability to see, hear, feel, no spirit to a whole new level. Um, yeah, so that's that little bit of journey. I did have like these abilities when I was younger, but people around me, I'd say like weird things and they'd be like, what? <gasps> Don't say that. <gasps> oh no, it's going to come true. And a lot of things did come true. So it freaked me out. So I'm like, oh my God, I got to not use this. So it's so always 20- been in you as a child, like you've grown up, you've had these abilities and you didn't quite recognize what they were until you become older and then they come into full fruition. Wow. That's amazing. And I, I didn't really know what they were. I just thought I was like that weird kid that was super sensitive and just took to things too personally and whatnot. So yeah, that's. 
So and you've then, been on quite a growth journey. Yes, I sure have. I sure have. So where did your journey take you from there? So you've discovered all these wonderful uh, abilities and you are really come into your own power. How did you discover that you can actually help people with these um, abilities that you've grown into as well? Yeah, so I started uh, taking clients from my living room in 2009, 2010, and then all of a sudden, a friend asked me to work in her clinic, a uh, professional clinic. And, and so that gave me the confidence to be like, wow, I can really do this as a real profession. So I've been doing it in uh, since 2011 in a professional manner. And now it's 2023 already. Um, so I've had a lot of fun and I shifted from doing like psychic readings, mediumship, all that, um, to after I got Lyme disease, I got bit by a tick probably seven years ago. And so then I shifted my work to wanting to teach others how to work with energy and heal their own body. So it took me two years to heal from Lyme disease, but we did it. It was a family. It was a whole it wasn't just me doing the work. It was all kinds of layers, but I'm passionate about teaching others how they can transform their energy and their body for optimal health. So it's about energy. Um, explain to us a little bit more about how energy works and how to recognize it and what impact it has on our day-to-day -day lives and our successes in lives as well. Oh, that's a great question. For me, energy we have the power to move energy and for me it's all about intention we have the power if we use our intention we can transform anything and we can create anything we want this brings us back to being a visionary woman is we are creators of our life so we're either creating consciously like through like what we desire consciously or unconsciously. So energy, it's accessible to all of us. And my one number one teaching is we shift the energy by intention. That's what I like to teach. Um, and so when we bring our intention to somewhere, say this like right under my rib here, I'm like, oh, I want to get curious and I want my intention is to listen, heal, and shift it. So then this energy, this invisible energy starts to move and shift because that's what I have intended. So once we realize and have that awareness of something physical is telling us that we need to take action on something or heal or something or address something, we feel it in our body and our energy changes and then we take action. What does action normally uh, look like and feel like? And I know that there'd be heaps of different scenarios around this because each woman is different, but how do we take action on something? Is it a meditation? Is it a practice? Is it a ritual? How does that look like? So for me, I love to take action from my heart. So I, I, I've i created a lot of things and a lot were like from my head and then they just don't, you think they're going to be amazing. You think they're going to be a like workout and like they are to the outside world, but then there's like that missing ingredient where it's just, oh, it's not exactly what I thought it was going to be. But when we shift and bring forth that energy from our heart, then a whole new life, a whole new energy can take form. It's from the soul versus from our thinking mind through our programming and what society tells you that will make you happy. I find personally experience it doesn't actually make you deeply fulfilled. And out of this experience, once you've recognized this in your body and you've got that awareness and you, you've taken action, how does that improve our lives? How does that, that change us? What does that normally look like? And I know this would probably be different for each, each woman as well. 
Yes. So I can share personally, I've been an energy healer for so long. And you know what? In September, I got diagnosed with breast cancer. And I was like, what? This is what's my intention. <laughs> so, but you know what? I was praying. I was praying for some major shifts in my life, but I just couldn't shift them on my own. And I was praying from my heart. From, so I wanted to change my life so that I felt deeply valued because that wasn't what I felt like on the outside. I was still trying to do this inner work for feeling deeply valued. And another shift I was creating was I live in a loving world. I want to look out wherever I am. I want to see love. And so up comes breast cancer. And I have to shift these major unconscious beliefs deeply embedded into my DNA. And now I'm almost on the other side where I'm like, not there yet, but I'm getting there. I'm like, oh, okay, that was a ride, but it's exactly what I prayed for. But not the way I thought it was going to come forth, but the major transitions uh, of my life, my relationships have gotten richer. I feel better. I can like settle down and relax a little bit more. And my whole life has transformed formed that is amazing so there's women out there that are walking around don't have a lot of awareness they've got aches and pains and they're not quite feeling themselves they're not quite feeling right they're looking for purpose and meaning and you know spirituality and they're trying to reconnect back with themselves so as a energy healer, Andrea, you can help them discover themselves, recover themselves, and live a joyful life full of abundance and meaning uh, just by recognizing patterns and taking action to, to heal them with the strategies that you coach and, and mentor on. Uh, is a powerful place to be um, and everything is energy, right? Um, you, we see it when someone walks in the room and you go, wow, they've got some great energy. They're charismatic or, you know, you see somebody wobbling around with a sore knee, you know, and um, it, it can work in, in any moment, in any industry, at any age, right? And where do people that that you've worked with, um, Andrea, where do you see them? Say they've come to you and you've done energy healing with them. Where do they normally go after that? Do they do they elevate? Do you, do you see them stepping into successes? What does that look like? Yes, well, a lot of them are intuitive already, but they don't trust their intuition. So after working with me, I love to hold space for people to get their own answers. Um, Cause I'm seeing as a seer, I could see the answers. I could see like how their body's talking and how, what answers they're already getting. And I like to be like, you see that you, you are getting the answers. You got to trust yourself and take action. So that's my whole mission in life is for people to, to reconnect people to their own inner truth intelligence, their own inner guide, because this is the only guide that we need. We don't need anybody outside of ourselves, because how can they, even, like, this is our star being this, this is our soul, like, we are the only ones who know how to drive this vehicle. Right? And I had cancer, I like got myself into a whole mess, but I still continued in with this inner guide and it's exactly where I needed to be I and each step I follow this guide um, so that's my intention and at the end of working with me people will always know the answer they will always be excited 
I love that. They will always know the answer. As an energy healer, I think that is holding space for women that deserve to really step into their own power as well and to embrace their own authenticity. And it all starts with energy, action, and acceptance. What kind of message would you like to leave the audience on today, Andrea? Oh, I love what you just said. Ah, what message would I love to leave? I would love to leave, be yourself. And the way to get there is to tuning into this beautiful heart space, this innate intelligence, and you're free to be yourself. This is the world I want to see is I live in a loving world. I want to connect with you so that you can express your authentic self. I love people that are different. I love people who are like, you know, out of the box and like so unique. That's really like what lights up my world. That's the kind of world I want to live in. And we are definitely here to celebrate the thought leaders and the disruptors and the change makers and the visionary women, just like you, Andrea, that are changing the world one conversation at a time. Thank you very much for being a valued visionary women guest today. We will share where to actually connect with you. Please go and connect with Andrea. She is changing the world. Let her help you with your energy, rebalance yourself and breathe life back into yourself. Thanks, Andrea. Bye for now. Thank you, Tracy. Bye.